Hi, and welcome back to Kurt's Corner here at Monster Transmissions. Today we're going to be working on how to install a lockup kit on the 700R4 transmission. All right, here are the necessary components that you need to come in the lockup kit. You have an oil pressure switch with two spade connectors. You have two brass fittings. This is to adapt the uh, oil pressure switch to the case, and this is to adapt this down to fit the oil pressure switch. It'll come with approximately 20 foot of electrical wire, which would be more than enough to handle the unit. It comes with five spade connectors, two for the oil pressure switch and three for the toggle switch that goes in the vehicle. It comes with inline connectors and extension connectors in case you need that. It also comes with two mounting screws for the toggle switch. And then finally, you also have the pigtail connector. It has a four pin connector, two wire leads out. This is your ground and this is your power source. This is the necessary tools that you'll need. A 9 16 wrench, a 3 quarter wrench, adjustable set of pliers, and also wire strippers. These are the components you'll need. I also recommend that you have some Teflon tape to Teflon tape these brass fittings as they screw into the transmission case. First we're going to go over how to install the toggle switch. You'll notice that the switch is marked plus for positive or marked power. This is the power source that goes out to the vehicle to the fuse panel. You need at least a 20 amp fuse to power the circuit. The next one is the accessory. This is the, the pin that goes down to the transmission uh, to activate the lockup circuit. The top switch here is your ground connection. You run this to a ground either the bottom of the dash or to the fuse panel. Make sure it has a good ground contact. To test the circuit, once you wire it in, it is also a lighted switch. It will light up red when it's active. You can toggle the switch and verify that it lights up. Then you know that you have it's wired correctly and that you have a good ground and a good power source. So those are the three connectors. The spade connectors come in the kit. Now that we have this wired in, I would energize the circuit, have it run down to the transmission, and I'll show you how we test the solenoid that's in the transmission. You're going to need your pigtail connector and the wire lead run down to the transmission. We are now on the driver's side of the transmission. The connector is almost directly underneath the driver's seat. That has a four pin connector, but we're only using two of the wires of that circuit. To test the factory lockup circuit, you would connect this connector and it has a locking pin on it which lines up with a guide pin so only basically fit one direction. You snap that on and then you're going to have two wires that come up. The one that has an eyelid on it, that is your ground connection. You can connect this to the cross member or the frame or there's a location here on the transmission case. Make sure the surface is clean, bare metal so you can have a very good ground. You need a good ground for the circuit to operate. The other wire, this is what you're going to test with. This is your positive wire. So the wire coming down from the, your toggle switch that's energized, you would strip this wire and touch this wire with the power source. You should hear the solenoid click. If the solenoid clicks, then it's active and works. If you do not hear a click, you may have a defective or bad solenoid. You need to repair that for the circuit to work. If the solenoid clicks, then what you do is you run this wire over the case to the other side of the transmission where we'll put in our pressure switch. So now I'm going to rotate the unit and show you how to wire in the pressure switch. Here on this side of the transmission, there you notice there's multiple oil ports. The port closest to the servo is the port that has a fourth gear oil feed. So this is where we're going to tap into to energize our lockup circuit. You'll need a 9 16 wrench to loosen this plug. It's a factory plug. You remove this fitting. You will then install the adapter for the transmission into this port. I recommend adding Teflon tape to the threads prior to installation. And this fitting will screw in right here. You want to tighten this fitting you see a three-quarter wrench. Do not over tighten because you could sp possible split in the case here and then you'll have an oil leak. You want to adjust the, the fitting to about that position facing towards the rear of the transmission 
And then you have the, the next component, which is an adapter to adapt the size down to fit the oil pressure switch. Again, add Teflon tape, screw this on, <clears throat> has a 916 head, tighten the fitting, and now you can install the oil pressure switch. The benefit of using this type of system versus another lockup kit is this kit does not require the operation or use of a vacuum switch. Most performance cars have a large cam and therefore limited vacuum. And this kit does not look at any vacuum pressure to operate. Once you tighten this fitting, ensure that you tighten on the metal portion of the switch and not the plastic housing because you can break the housing. So you tighten this fitting down, leave the pins and about that connection. So I need one of these to wire in for the power circuit on the transmission. Now you're going to take one of your spade connectors and mount it onto this wire. And now this wire will plug into this switch <clears throat> and then your power source coming down from your toggle switch will be this wire and it's the same spade connector and we'll plug in there. It doesn't really matter which wire you plug into because when this circuit is energized, when it goes into fourth gear, we'll create a contact and energize now the solenoid of the transmission which will engage the clutch in the converter. When it engages that clutch, it'll reduce your RPM anywhere from 200 to 400 RPM and give you a better fuel economy. So that's basic how you would install one of our lockup kits. If you have any questions on how to install it, you can refer back to the instructions or give us a call at 1-800-708-0087. Thanks today for visiting Kurt at Kurt's Corner. If we can be any help, give us a call at Monster Transmissions. Thank you.